Hello and welcome to another freelance modding crew modding tutorial. Today I'm hoping to show you how to make a quick and easy dirt map. The programs I'm going to use today is Photoshop, GE and Farming Simulator 15 itself. Okay the first thing we do is open Photoshop. Now there's a few ways to do this. Um, you can start off with your normal diffuse this is a, a diffuse texture that I've used with my uh, wool trailer that I uploaded today to site. As you can see it is just the bare texture. The other thing is you can use a texture that has the AO map already incorporated within it this has already been AO, the model has already been AO'd and the AO texture has been overlaid onto this texture to produce an AO texture and uh, a diffuse texture like this with the AO already in it is okay to use either type of file okay for the first one I'll use this normal one, the one that hasn't got the AO file already in. If you're using something like this make sure you have the AO file to hand. This is an AO file. AO by the way stands for ambient occlusion. In Just in case some people are worrying, uh, wondering about it. Okay first thing you need to do is change this file so you can use it as a gloss. Uh, why do you need to change it? Well, um, specular files work in grayscale, but the new game works in RGB. How do we go about this? Okay, Go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. Discard. That turns it to grayscale. But you need all the colors here in the channels. So what we do then is we go to Image, Mode, turn it back into RGB. I know it sounds strange but this is the way it's got to be done. Now the last thing you want to do is overwrite your diffuse. So you need to save this out again as a gloss file. I've already got a gloss there. Now you can name it what you want. I, I, I tend to name mine gloss. You, you can put specular in there if you want or put anything you want really. I just tend to go with gloss. Then save that out. Mine already, already exists so I'll just overwrite it. Now you can save it as a DXT1, 5 or 3 depending on alpha. Some maps have alphas in them and depending on the type of alpha you're using you either use DXT3 or DXT5. If there's no alpha it's DXT1. Save that out and as you see the name has changed to gloss. Now if you accidentally click on save you will not overwrite your diffuse with your gloss. Handy tip. Okay the first thing you want to note is the channels down here. We have three channels that we're interested in. The red channel this takes care of all the specular data in the file. The green channel takes care of all the amb ambulant occlusion data and the blue file uh, the blue channel sorry takes care of all the dirt data in the file the blue one is the one we're most interested in today alright so how do we go about it okay select the green and the blue together make sure it's only the green and the blue now go to edit select fill and fill both of these channels with black. You'll notice the red still has your specular uh, file in there and your green and your blue are both black. Okay, go to the green channel. Now what you want to do is open your ambient occlusion file. Select all, edit, copy. Go back to your gloss file making sure you're still in the green and none of the others are selected. Click on it and paste. 
This will paste your ambient occlusion into the green channel. So now you have your specular and your ambient occlusion. You can now deselect that and your blue channel or your dirt channel is still black. Now if you select them all you will notice that it turns like a, a bluey green. And this is exactly what you need. Now to paint on your dirt yep we're up to that stage already to paint on your dirt if you paint on white pure white choose a good brush a good size brush if you choose pure white it will put pure dirt onto your image if you choose black It will take off that dirt and the image will be where, where, where you've put black the image will be clean. Same thing with greys. Mid grey will just put on like a dusty effect. Whereas higher whites will put on a more dirty look and lower greys will put on an even lighter look and it's as simple as that that is how you do freehand dirt mopping in a second I'll show you the, the other method this method was with the AO file itself. Okay, the second method. This method uses the diffuse file that already has the ambient occlusion file incorporated within it. You can still use this, it's not a problem. Okay, the process is exactly the same. You want to go to image, mode, grayscale, discard. Image, mode, RGB then save this out as your gloss save it out ok it's now changed to a gloss file you have your three channels ready to work on now reopen your diffuse Go to select all, edit, then copy. Now go back to your gloss and go to your green channel and paste in your diffuse that you copied to the clipboard. Now this is where it differs. When you use your diffuse it will be dark it needs to be light so we'll go to image adjust and brightness to contrast turn your brightness all the way up and your contrast down click on OK if it's not bright enough then just do it again adjustment brightness up down OK now that should be good enough to use as your AO. The blue one is exactly the same. Go to your blue channel, go to edit, fill, fill with black. Then when you open it up it will be exactly the same as the last one. So that when you go to white while you're in the blue channel make sure none of this is selected just the blue channel. You will start to paint on your dirt. Okay, so so you've made your ambient occlusion, sorry, your dirt texture. How do you tell if you're doing it right? Let me open up. This is the gloss file of my finished wool trailer. As you see 
all the dirt has been painted on well actually uh, it hasn't uh, I cheated and I'll show you a good way to cheat cheat for this uh, if you want to cheat you don't want to um, go around all the individual little pieces and, and put white on and black on and things like that there's an easy simple way to do it firstly find yourself a good file I've got mine in here under dirt open that up once you have this go to image adjustment sorry sorry mode grayscale turn it into grayscale you don't have to turn it back into RGB not this time go to image adjustments brightness turn the brightness all the way up and the contrast all the way down click on OK select all edit then copy then go to your gloss file and edit paste this will paste sorry I made a mistake there well done to those who spotted my deliberate mistake if you'll notice that is the file there that is in my blue channel all I did was paste it in control T to adjust it so that it would fit on the entire image then when I selected the lot there's my dirt a nice simple quick way of putting dirt into an image okay now we're back to my original image okay how, how, how can you um, paint dirt onto it and check to see if what you've done is right the first thing you want to do is open your model in GE that's a Giants Editor for those newbies who don't know what that is that will show the dirt as it is in the texture this, this will not appear in game in game it will be clean to start with and then it will gradually become this dirty after time that's all taken care of in the XML files that's for another tutorial though okay if we go back to the Photoshop file go to blue and fill it with black again now if I save this which I will do now if you go back to your model and reload textures it will become clean because there's no dirt on this file now if I choose white which it's on pick a brush and paint making sure that I'm only in the blue and paint over the back of the ramp area and then save that when I go back into GE and select load there's your dirt you notice that it is thick dirt that is because I used a white brush if I went back and undid that and made it half grey and done exactly the same and save that and go back and reload textures it's a lot lighter 
gives it that dusty look. Again, if I go back and choose black and overwrite everything that I've done, and save that. Now go back to GE, reload textures and the dirt has gone. This is on a different texture file that's why that didn't disappear. But there's no dirt at all on any of them. But If I go back and go right back to this file, my original, and then save that, go back to GE, reload textures, my dirt is back. And that is all there is to dirt mapping. I hope this tutorial helped you. If I've got anything wrong or you wish to add something, by all means PM me. Thank you.